Hi, this is Tara with HealingCrystals.com and this is the Astrology Report for the week of December 30th through January 5th. Um, we're closing out 2015 and we're bringing in 2016. So let's see what we've got to work with this week. Um, on Wednesday, Venus and Pluto are going to be in a square and that's going to highlight any concerns that you have with present situations. Who or what do you not completely trust? That's the question that you're going to be asking yourself. Remember, this, this transit isn't meant to stress you out, okay? It's meant to help you recognize what isn't working, what, what isn't right for you, and clean up whatever it is that's bothering you now before you embark on a new year. There could be a lot of fears of loss that could pop up during this transit. Um, and, and it's the kind of thing like... You know how, how sometimes you, you feel like it's better to hold on to something that isn't good, that, you, that isn't working for you, that you don't really like. It's better to hold on to that than to risk not having anything at all. Those are the kinds of fears that are going to pop up today. Um, but it, it's time to, to, you know, make your move. You don't want to waste this opportunity by letting those fears and doubts hold you back. Um, once we get into Thursday, everything changes. On Wednesday, you, you were forced to, to look at, you know, you were forced to think about old and potentially damaging situations um, and things in your life. But now Venus has moved into a transit with Uranus and everything changes. You are going to be focused completely on the future and you're going to be feeling like a lot of good things are coming your way not just on the future but also in the present it's just you know what that that last day of 2015 is just going to be a really nice day where you're really going to enjoy what you've got and you may be looking forward to you know creating new and and greater things in your life so be sure to really enjoy that day um not much goes on on january 1st quite honestly it's pretty much a quiet day so rest because when saturday comes um, you couldn't ask for a better transit to start off a new year with. The Sun and Saturn are going to be in a semi-sextile and that is going to be bringing you tons of determination and it's going to give you, you know, the, the, a lot of, there's a lot of Earth energy right now. Especially with, um, you know, and, and Saturn's in Sagittarius. So you've kind of got that, that fire energy mixing with this, the Sun and Capricorn, that Earth energy. And that's going to give you a good solid base that you can be productive from, that you can begin your work from. Um, the fire is going to urge you to, to do things while the earth energy is going to give you what you need to make that that um, stuff happen. You're going to be very productive today. You're going to feel very productive. Um, and it's an especially, this is especially good energy for long term planning. So make your plan, set your schedule, know what you're going to need. And you're going to figure out how to get those things that are going to get you where you want to go. Um, on Monday, it's back to work, back to school, back to regular life for a lot of people who, who have been fortunate enough to be able to take a break um, over the holidays. Uh, but unfortunately, the energy is really not going to be cooperating with you. Um, Mercury and Mars are going to be in a square and you're going to be very consumed with your own ideas and how your ideas are better than anybody else's and how you are smarter than everybody else and that's going to make it very difficult for you to be working with other people and and you know it's going to make it difficult for people to get along with each other this is very good energy to be inventive and you could be very invent very you know come up with some really clever ideas under this influence but don't try to share anything right now because or and don't try to do anything because it's, it's just, it's not a good time to interact with others. And you want to be very careful about how you, you speak and communicate with others because you could unintentionally create um, a lot of conflict that you don't mean to. It's just that kind of an atmosphere. Um, Tuesday, we have another square. This time it's going to be with, sorry, I got to check my notes, with Venus and Neptune. 
Um, and that's going to have you kind of lost in the worlds of dreams and fantasies. Um, it's a very pleasant place to be, but don't buy into it because you're not going to be able to stay there for very long. And once you come back to reality, you don't want to be filled with a lot of disappointment. And you also don't want to have spent time, energy, money on something that you realize is really nothing more than a fantasy. That, that's just not going to work out for you. Anyway. Fortunately, later in the day on Tuesday, the Sun and Pluto move in and then they're going to bring you some really good practical Earth energy. That's going to help you figure out how to take your dreams and those fantasies and turn them into realities. The Sun and Pluto are going to help you to see the truth of situations um, and that's going to help you to to find a base to build things from and that's that's what's important once once you see the truth and once you understand the what you need the the resources that you need the support that you need you're going to be able to go out there and find them and that's how that's how you make things happen so here's the crystals i'm going to be carrying with me this week um first of all blue topaz because blue topaz is really good to help you understand when something is bothering you, when something doesn't feel right. A lot of times we, we, we tend to kind of just ignore those feelings, you know, because we don't want to deal with them. Blue Topaz is going to help you recognize them and figure out a way to fix it and make it better because that's the whole purpose in, in, in recognizing it. It's not to make you feel bad. It's to help you fix it. And you have that ability to do that. You just need a little help and, and the crystals can help you out with that um, as will the energy help you out with that as well um, sunstone is the other crystal I'll be carrying with me this week just because there's a lot of bright happy energy you're starting a new year you want to go into it filled with with a lot of really good positive um, energy and intentions and and sunstone can help you do that and finally tanzanite because tanzanite will help you to trust your instincts and it's also going to help you to reach out to others um, and trust them when the time is right because you can't go it alone you are going to need help while this may not be the best week to look for that help you will eventually need support and Tansen and I can help you know when and who and what to work with um, one other word of advice for this week on New Year's Day, some point, whether it be at 12.01 a.m. or whether it be at 4.30 in the afternoon, choose a crystal. Don't think about it. Look at your crystals. Look at a picture of crystals and just go with whatever one um, attracts you and learn more about that crystal and use it as kind of your, your guide um, for the coming year as your... Um, uh, I'm trying to think of a good word to, that, and, and nothing is coming to me right now, of course. But, it, it, you know, j just to help you as you start off the new year, look to the crystals to, to help give you um, extra energy, an extra burst of energy. And, you know, who knows what kind of crystal you might pick. It, it you know, could be something you've never worked with before. Um, and then you can either get one and carry it with you or carry a picture with you. Um, but, you know, whenever, whenever you've got a moment of significance and whenever the years change, that it's a, it's a significant time. It's a good time to use that energy to reach out to the universe and see what it has to offer you and the crystals can help give something back to you. Don't forget to check out the weekly and the daily horoscopes on HealingCrystals.com and on our Facebook page, Crystal Talk. Have a magical week and a very happy new year. See you in 2016.